Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to be working with um, task flows and sending parameters to them. I have a calling form here in the ADFC config XML file. And that form contains a button and a text field. We're going to put a set property listener on the button. And um, We'll just create our own input value here. And we're going to send it to page flow scope. We'll call it parent param. And you can name it anything here. Basically what you're doing is creating a parameter kind of on the fly that's maintained in memory. And this is an action. Okay, so we've got that value. Now we want to verify that that in fact was sent. So we're going to actually put it first on the page. So we press the button and it'll display here. Save that. Okay, let's go to our ADFC config, and what we're going to do is we're going to drag our called task flow on here and create a view basically to go to it. And we'll do a return. And back will do. And actually, it's picking up this back here probably. Let's make sure that the button we have actually specifies the correct value because I have been playing with it. Okay, so um, we have the task flow here. Let's double click on the white spots area and go to the overview and the parameters. There's no parameter here. What we need to do is set a parameter and uh, we'll call it input parameter one and again we'll do page flow you can actually name it this um, and probably that makes sense um, given the fact that you're naming it and uh, it would have a similar name um, but i'm going to put any name will do this to show that it in fact does work. Now what we want to do is make sure that that any name and do is actually used. So on the called form, the target form, we're going to copy this value in. Let's save. So now we've got this input param parameter here on the task flow, or I'm, I'm sorry, on the called task flow. And what we need to do here is then come over here and um, I think, yep, up there, my apologies. Come down to the parameter. Now you can see that it's set. So the input value and print parameter one that we specified here is now visible from the outside of the task flow. And um, what we need to do is take the value that was in the calling form, and I will get that again because uh, I want to make sure that I get the correct value, parent param. We're going to go to the outside of the value, and we're going to put this in here. So this input param name here will then kind of act like a I don't know, a tunnel, so that this value can pass through. And then on the inside, it's going to pass into this page flow scope value. And then we're going to call this page flow scope on our calling on our called form. Okay, let's see how this works. 
we run the calling form and we press go and the value well we get now to the called form basically it goes so quickly because it just went right back but it did write it here and then it wrote it again on the called form so you can see that it is working and that's basically uh, the way to set parameters thank you very much i hope this was helpful